Myself and Andy Brown had a very experienced team of tailors and tailoresses who have worked together to actually produce your tail suit. It's now important that you do the second stage and look at the video so that you know exactly how to wear it and what you should look like. Your suit will arrive in one of our purpose-made boxes. Once it arrives, take the suit out. You'll find that on the top here we have a complimentary tail suit bag, which is full length, so that you'll be able to use it for all your competitions. Take the tail suit out of the box. Put it onto a hanger. Hang it somewhere warm and all of the creases will come out. So the correct length of the trousers for, the, for dancing is when you're stood relaxed with your arms at the side, you will notice that the trousers break or crease quite heavily over the front of the shoe. This is fine, this is what we're looking for. Again, with the back of the trouser, when you stood relaxed with your arms at the side, the trouser should just sit on the floor, possibly even break fractionally at the back. But once you rise up into promenade and your arms are in a dancing hold, you will notice that the front of the trouser falls straight and hangs neatly, and the back of the trouser actually covers the shoe. This is what this is the position and the shape that we're looking for. One point about the accessories, and particularly the waistcoat or cummerbund, depending on your um, take on it. When you're fitting it, what we're looking to do is to pass the elastic through either one section of the brace or if you like entirely through the back of the braces. What this does, it keeps the sides of the waistcoat in position in relation to the waistband on the trousers because what we don't want the waistcoat to do, which we'll illustrate with the jacket in a few minutes, is to drop down at the sides as you're dancing which can happen with the movement. If it does that, it will show below the jacket, which is something that should never happen. So by putting the elastic through the brace straps at the back, it prevents that from happening. One area and feature on the trousers that I will draw your attention to is the fact of the, the waistband at the top. As we mentioned earlier, these sit over the base of the ribs. When you put the trouser on and you're stood relaxed and you've got the waistband in the correct position on your ribs, you'll notice when stood relaxed that there is a good amount of room running all the way around the waistband of the trouser. That is correct and it's in there for a reason because when you get into the correct position and your correct posture you will be expanding your rib cage which will take up all of that space that was there when you were stood relaxed. Again when you're dancing and you're competing and the breathing starts to get heavy you need that space for the expansion of the ribs so you don't get any pressure points and any tightness around there which would restrict your your breathing and cause discomfort during the dance. So that is the reason that that extra is in there and that's what we want to see. If you don't have that, bring it to our attention. We're now at the stage of putting on the jacket. Now I'm going to hand the jacket to Mark because it's important how you put the jacket on, especially when you're at the competitions, when you're on and off the floor all the time and taking these jackets off. It's important, I'm just going to pass this to Mark here, you watch Mark when he puts it on, everything's going under never put the jacket on with your arm going behind you because you'll break the back of the collar. The collar has to fit very cleanly around here and it's stretching all the time and you probably feel it automatically in the back of your neck. There is a little white elastic behind the collar that will fit to the white stud. You're going to need help for somebody to do this for you. Just to ping that white elastic and just wrap it around that stud. Okay? And then that will keep the collar in the position that it wants to be in. Now we're going to look at the back of the suit and how the, how the jacket should hang. And what you should be looking for is the points that are good and some points that may be bad. You can see that there's quite a bit of fabric in the back of the jacket. That's deliberate because the tail suit should hang from the back straight over the seat and down to just below the calf. 
It shouldn't fit. So this is again is a bad thing. It shouldn't fit like this. Fitted into the waist with the tails opened. A very bad look. And obviously when dancing as well will only emphasize the seat area, which makes it look big, untidy, and not good. Okay, so I just put that tail suit back to where it should be. So again, space, straight line. You'll also see the tails when their arms are down, crossing over. You don't want your tail suit to be hanging perfectly straight at this point. If it does, when Mark takes his arms up, it will actually open the tails again, which again will emphasize the part of the, 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 the uh, body that you don't want to. Okay, I'm gonna ask Mark now to put his arms up for us. With a four-way stretch, it will stretch from elbow to elbow. And the more you wear it, the cleaner it gets. I haven't done anything with the towels at the moment, but now you can actually see that they are hanging straight. Space again, look, in the back. Fitted underneath the arms, fitted to the elbow. Collar automatically should never ever move. If you've got space in this collar, it's falling backwards, there's a problem and we need to look at it. That's fitting lovely. Right, I'm just going to turn Mark around now if he puts his arms down. When he, Mark automatically did this when he put his suit on, but you've seen he's got his jacket on and he pulls the suit forward like that and then fastens the elastics. So you feel as if the suit's fitting down the front. You don't want to feel it if it's falling backwards. Once that collar position is correct with the actual elastic, two pieces of elastic on the inside of the jacket connect to the trouser through these buttons and that's just holding the suit in place and down. When the arms are down you'll see quite a bit of gathering of fabric underneath the armhole. Again this is normal. You see this quite a bit of fabric here because as the arm goes up in dancing position that goes away. Without it you've got a problem. It shouldn't fit like a normal suit like mine. It's only fitted in a dance position. So when your arms are down, you've got quite a bit of fabric there. What I'm gonna do now is illustrate with exactly the same suit that you've just seen fitting correctly, how some very slight alterations to how you wear the suit can have a huge visual impact on how the suit actually looks and can, in some instances, be interpreted as a suit that is poorly fitting or fitted incorrectly. We talked about the elastic on the collar at the back and the elastics on the inside of the suit there. If those are released there, I'll take the one off the back if Mark could release the ones at the front for me. And if this suit is worn very slightly different, so if the, the jacket's actually rolled back very slightly at the back, what that will do, the collar will look very low and very out of shape. It will increase the tightness under the arms also, and it will open the tails. If Mark puts his arms up into a dance hold now, you'll see straight away the jacket sits into the base of the back. Tails swing open. The shoulder section has suddenly got creases that weren't there before. The collar looks extremely ill-fitting. Mark now turns around for me. You have space and pockets at the side of the jacket there you have a great deal of tightness. You can see that there's actually a tight fold formed at the front there. And this is all on exactly the same suit that we've just shown to fit correctly. If we now put this suit back into position, just drop your arms down for me, pop that back on, fasten those elastics back up, you'll see that once the suit is worn in the correct position, and there we go. We've got clean lines again, we've got the collar holding in, we've got the back sitting nice and straight, giving us that straight line that Mark spoke about earlier through to from the shoulder blades down to the tip of the tails, and the tails are now hanging parallel, which is exactly where we want them. So that has illustrated that by a very slight alteration to how the suit is sitting on your body can have a huge impact on how the suit actually looks and performs.
I'm now going to talk about the trousers. We're going to show you how we want them to fit and how they should fit and how they should look when they're fitted correctly. And then again, if they're not worn in the right position, what you should expect to see. And this should hopefully help to guide you to getting them fitted and sitting on you properly. So you'll see at the moment we spoke about the waistband and the space on the waistband earlier on. We've got that there, that's visible. But you see that the pleats are lying nice and flat. And if I can just turn Mark round, again they're fitting cleanly over his seat and in that nice position in his lower back there. The creases are straight all the way down the back. Now, if we were to sit these trousers in a position where you would wear a regular pair of trousers, you will see quite a marked difference in the fit and appearance of them. And also the functionality, because of course a towel trouser has to perform and function in a particular way. So you'll notice these are fitted around Mark's natural waist now, which is where you would pair, wear a pair of regular trousers. In doing that, straight away the pleats are opening up and the pockets on the pleats have become very wide and very obvious. You've got now a huge amount of extra space which will never be taken up around the waist. The trousers suddenly look horrifically long. If we spin Mark around at the back, he's got all this flapping around at the back. There's a lot of excess material here because again the pleats are now much further down so that's moved all that fabric to this area there. So the trousers will look, although they will feel as if they're sitting in the right position, they're actually in the wrong position and should feel awful. So just by putting these trousers into the correct position around the base of the ribs, with the underside of the trousers actually fitting you closely and comfortably without being too tight, will make a huge difference to the actual look and performance of the trouser. Because of course if the waist is worn much lower, the crotch of the trousers is actually worn lower as well, which will hinder your dance steps uh, when you're actually dancing.